everybody, welcome to my channel. Terry White here, and I'm happy to show you three steps, simple steps, to creating QR codes in Adobe InDesign. It's actually been a feature for a while. Now, why is this important? Because QR codes are actually making a comeback. They have made a comeback. Uh, if you go to pretty much any sit-down restaurant these days, you'll find on the table, not a menu, but you'll actually find a little place card or maybe a little card uh, that people pass around that they can use their phones to scan the QR code to get the menu right on their phones. Everyone's looking at their phones anyway, so why not? Uh, so I'm gonna show you how to do this in InDesign for that one thing you are gonna print, whether it's a place card, business card, flyer, whatever, people can scan the QR code and get the information you want them to have. Whether it's a website, flyer, whatever else it is, text, business card, whatever it is. All right, so with that said, um, here's an example. I just went to Panda Express the other day. This is where I got the idea to do this video and scattered throughout their drive through They had QR codes for not only the menu, but for job openings, for just anything, because all you have to do to scan a QR code now, because it's built into the operating system, is hold up your iPhone, and I'm assuming Android as well, open up the camera app and just point at the QR code and the phone will detect it and propose the URL as you can, or the website as you can see uh, on the right-hand screen there. So I just held my phone up. Uh, Safari saying, hey, I detect a website there. Do you want me to go to Pendix, whatever that is, that press? And I said yes and showed me the menu. All right, so let's look at those three simple steps to creating your own QR codes here in Adobe InDesign. So step one, after you get your document where you want your QR code to go. So I just create it like that little placeholder card. You can design it any way you want, make it any color you want, but then you're just gonna, step one, you're just gonna drag out a new frame. So I'm just gonna make that frame nice and big in the middle. That's step one. Step two, you're gonna switch to your move tool and right click on that frame you just created and come down to generate QR code. Now by default, it will come up on plain text. So if you wanted someone to scan that QR code and just, you're gonna tell them something, you would put that text in here. We're going to use web hyperlink because we want them to go to a website. But your other choices are generate a text message, put the phone number in and the uh, message, and it will propose a text message on their phone already ready to go. Or it could be an email, same thing, email subject um, address and message as well as a business card. You fill out the information and that that's what comes up as the business card. Now, in addition to creating the hyperlink, business card, whatever it is, you also can choose the color you want the QR code to be in. So that's just from a visual standpoint. It has nothing to do with the way it works. All right, so next I'm just gonna go back to web hyperlink and you would go in and put in your hyperlink. So mine's gonna be https colon slash slash uh, twhite.me slash tw25. This will take you to a Spark page about my 25th anniversary here at Adobe. So I'm gonna click OK, and that will generate the QR code. Now, that was it. Step three is your code's there. The last thing you're gonna need to do is, because typically your document's probably gonna be on typical display, you just wanna right click on it and choose high quality display. This will not change the way it prints, it just changes the way it displays on screen. So if you want to test that QR code right now, which I'm going to do right in front of you, if you want to test that QR code right now, um, it would make it easier to scan because your phone would be, or your phone would see it better in the high quality display. So I'm gonna pull up my phone right now. And as soon as I put the camera over that code, boom, there comes the website at the top. I just tap and it takes me right to that website and loads the page. So that is how to make a QR code work on your um, phone just by scanning it with your camera app. All right, so let me give you one more bonus tip on when you might wanna use a QR code. So let's go to my next page. In my next page in this document, I've got one of my old business cards. And uh, don't try and go to that address. I don't, I don't have a studio there anymore, but that's where I used to live, or that's where I used to have my uh, studio when I lived in Michigan. All right, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and grab uh, just a frame. And once again, we're going to right click on this frame, generate QR code. And this time we're gonna put in my photography website. So HTTPS colon slash slash Terry White dot photography. That will take you to 
my photography website. And again, I can choose the color, whatever I choose. So let's make it blue just for the sake of example. Click OK. And now I got a nice blue hyperlink or a QR code with a hyperlink that you can now scan right now on this video with your phone if you're not watching it on your phone. And away you would go to my photography website. Now, why a business card? Because business cards are another one of those printed things that someone doesn't have to type in the URL. They could actually just scan it with their phone, hold the business card up, scan it with their phone, and off to your website they go. So that's three simple steps on how to create QR codes, which have made a huge comeback since this feature was first introduced years ago in InDesign. Now you can really take advantage of it. Thank you, cheers, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, everybody.